Alright, so check this out. On April 2nd, 2020, YNW Melly, via management, told fans on Twitter that he tested positive for COVID-19. And according to an Instagram post from his official account, the incarcerated rapper was concerned about getting proper treatment while locked up. The caption of the post read, Melly has tested positive for COVID-19 today while awaiting his trial in Broward County Jail. He'll be filing a motion for restricted release in hopes of better care due to any jails not being prepared to treat this new virus. He he hopes for your support and to recover soon. Hashtag pray for Melly and send positive energy to him, please. On April 14th, TMZ reported that Melly's lawyer, Bradford Cohen, filed documents claiming his client was suffering from several of the symptoms of the coronavirus, including chills, labored breathing, headaches, and body aches after he had already tested positive. At the time he filed the paperwork, his attorney Cohen stated on Melly's Instagram, just an update, we are waiting to hear from the judge regarding the release of Mr. Demons to receive medical care care and treatment. Supplemental motion was filed today detailing the jail having Mr. Demon share a cell with another COVID-19 positive inmate. This is not recommended by any medical physician. Cohen argued that inadequate care and protection provided by the jail put his client at risk of dying from the virus. Melly fought for house arrest and at-home medical care, but the judge said if he requires special medical treatment while in jail, he can request it from the Broward Sheriff's Office. However, it appears that the so-called special medical treatment the judge referred to is highly lacking. TMZ reports that his health is quickly deteriorating and he's only being treated with Tylenol and Gatorade. Sources close to the situation have said Melly is experiencing labored breathing, body aches, headaches, high temperature, and chills, especially at night. Even though Melly has been isolated from his cellmate who also tested positive for COVID-19, the jail staff is being accused of not checking on Melly hourly as they've been instructed, leading his loved ones to fear for his health and safety. The young rapper is accused of killing fellow rappers Anthony YNW Sack Chaser Williams and Christopher YNW Juvie Thomas Jr. in 2018. He's been in jail since last year awaiting trial. The families of his alleged victims adamantly opposed to Melly's release, explaining he didn't deserve any mercy. Following an investigation, police determined Melly and associate YNW Bortland killed Williams and Thomas and believed Melly was the trigger man. They then staged the scene to look like a drive-by shooting and allegedly drove around with the two dead bodies in Melly's Jeep Compass, which is where the police think the shooting occurred. In February of 2019, before turning himself in, Melly posted on Instagram maintaining his innocence saying, no, I did not get locked up in Washington, but I am turning myself in today. A couple months ago, I lost my two brothers by violence and now the system wants to find justice. Unfortunately, a lot of rumors and lies are being said, but no worries. God is with me and my brother, YNW Bortland, and we want y'all to remember it's a YNW family. I love you. If convicted, Melly faces the death penalty. Melly is also suspected of being involved in the 2017 shooting death of an off-duty police officer named Gary Chambliss in Indian River County, Florida, although he has never been officially charged in connection to the case. On November 22nd, 2019, Melly dropped his debut album, Melly vs. Mel, through 300 Entertainment and Atlantic Records, and in December, it reached a spot number eight on the Billboard 200 charts. As of April 15th, almost 37 7,000 people have died from the disease in the U.S. and more than 150,000 people have died from the disease worldwide. So what do you guys think? Should the judge rethink his decision to leave Melly behind bars given the inadequate treatment he's receiving in jail? Or is Melly just going to have to tough it out? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.